Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Star Cub Review. Sorry it's been a couple of days, I've just been swamped with trying to film videos and having some family emergencies at the moment, which I've had to deal with. So I've, I've had a hard time trying to get videos filmed and edited. So this will be um, pretty much my first one in probably four or five days. Um, and it's going to be a review for a PS2 game, which I never played back in the day. It's from 2001. It's Devil May Cry. The first one in the Devil May Cry series, which was released in 2001 for the PS2. Uh, action adventure game. And it basically... I enjoyed it. It was thoroughly addictive. I completed it last night, actually. I completed it last night. Um, and it basically has missions in it, uh, guns, combos, Dante, uh, you know, human half demon, ass kicking uh, human. Uh, what more can I say? But before I get into it, uh, thank you to everyone that is returning to watch my videos and a big, hey, welcome to Everybody new to my channel, thanks so much for tuning in and picking my channel to watch. Um, yeah, uh, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell to keep up to date with all my stuff. Um, now, sometimes I may not be too regular with my stuff. Um, that's because I have other stuff currently um, going on at the, at the same time as I'm getting filming done and all of that. But I try to get as much content out as I can to keep everyone happy um, for at least, you know, a couple of days to a week to watch, catch up and watch my videos. But this one is on Devil May Cry for the PS2. Um, I had fun with it. I, I was very, very addictive. Um, it's basically about Dante, who owns a store, runs his own business called Devil May Cry. It's set on a fictional island called Mallet. And he basically meets a woman named Trish who shows him, or actually leads him on, on a fight to defeat the demon lord Mundus who killed his mother and brother many, many years ago before the, this first story starts. And what can I say? I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was very, it was, it was addictive. Uh, I liked all the different weapons you could get. Combos, guns, grenade, you know, grenade launcher. Uh, sometimes I did find it a bit janky. Now, it, well, it, is, it was developed and published by Capcom. Now, I know the Devil May Cry series is a big, huge thing. Um, I got into... I've never played the original games. I got into Devil May Cry through the remake of Devil May Cry, um, which was really, really good for the PS3. And then I played Devil May Cry 5, which was exceptionally well done. I loved Devil May Cry 5. But this first one, really, really addictive. It was, the combat is fun, the weapons are fun, uh, the, it's mission based. Uh, so you've got to do missions in order to get to the next one. Um, there's 23 chapters. There's, I know there's secret missions and that in it as well. It is uh, challenging in places. I've not done any of the secret missions and that. I just completed it for the story, just to say that I've completed the first one and played the first one so I could experience it. What more can I say? The combat is fluid. Sometimes it's a little bit janky. The auto lock-on system is a bit janky as well. Um, and I kind of wish too that it had, he had more, a bit more variety and fluidity with his combos. I mean, some of the main weapons that he uses have good combos, but it could really be spiced up and, you know, go all kick ass with the uh, combos and that. But for what, we, for what this one is that Capcom has done for the original. I liked it. I enjoyed it. The story was, um, the story was fun as well. And I like, you know, Dante being a smart ass in it, laid back, 
Trish was a really good character. I really like Trish. I know she gets further developed, you know, in the further series of it. So does Dante. And then there's other characters that come into it as well. But I actually had fun with this. There is a few things like challenges you have in it where you have to solve some sort of puzzle or something like that to get to the next area. Some of the enemies even can be challenging on the uh, easy mode as well. So it's each to their own. I mean, I enjoyed it. This is just a quick review to say Devil May Cry. The first one, I've played it now. I really enjoyed it. Uh, is it the... Uh, it was th thoroughly addictive, enjoyable, like I said. Other than that, I really wish um, this had of got maybe a few more kick-ass combos and stuff. But other than that, I've not played the HD remaster of this. I just, I bought this to play the original to experience it in all its glory before it got the high definition remastered one, which I've seen and, you know, it's all the graphics and all that have been spiced up and reworked and stuff like that. So maybe down the track I'll get to that. I'm not sure, but... Thanks so much, guys. This one is now done. Um, what do I give Devil May Cry rating for it? Hmm. I give it about an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, pretty good for what it was. I completed the game within a little under... Uh, no, I completed it in about 7 hours. So it took me 3 days. I took my time with it. Because I, I, sometimes I, I, I just couldn't play. So, but in, in actuality, it took me seven hours to complete the overall game. But three days to, you know, that I sat down and played it. But other than that, thanks so much, guys. Um, I will bring out some more videos in the coming hours. But this is my first one down. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click the like, subscribe button, and the notification button to keep up to date. And I will be back with some more very, very soon. All right. Catch you later. Bye. Thank you.